Welcome back to the Farmcast. I'm Isabel Drobny here with Mike Wimhoff, and today we'll be talking about the ease of precision ag farming. Mike, with your experience with all things precision ag, what are some of the key technology takeaways that you see a lot of people in our AOR utilizing? You know, we're seeing, it depends on crop type, it depends on or, uh, organization as far as kind of what they've adopted and, and also just how far along that particular customer is on their precision ag journey. You know, we're seeing some some of our customers that are just diving in mm -hmm. to precision agriculture. Others have been there a long time and are utilizing the more advanced technologies, you know, like sea and spray and, yeah. and some of the other um, very advanced things. And that's really what, you know, we want to do at 21st Century as a precision ag team is we want to be there to help these organizations along as on their technology journey because Technology is here to stay. We all know that, mm -hmm. and it's it's something that is is extremely valuable and necessary for our customer base today. When I feel like it's also super interesting, just the relationships even the Precision Ag team has with um, the customers in our region. Customers will just be you know constantly calling like the same people, very loyal to the person that they're working with to get them through any issues that they're having and to get themselves up to speed with. A adaptation and just improving their operations to be on top of the technology, like you said. I mean, it's constantly changing with the newer displays that are coming out. It, it's for the benefit of everyone that's utilizing it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think uh, it's it's something that it's not always it's not always easy with John Deere equipment. I, I do have a strong feeling like our embedded equipment and uh, synchronized technology across different pieces of equipment makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's it's not always easy. And, and that's where we at 21st Century want to be a part of that journey with our customers to know that they, they can have us as trusted advisors to help them along. And with, I guess, someone that's newly adopting Precision Ag, where is some ways that we come into play to kind of get them to a more comfortable, confident mm -hmm. way to make the use of it more easy? Sure. And I guess I'd answer that in a way of... Uh, thinking about how precision ag kind of first evolved and where mm -hmm. it first started thinking about just auto path and can I get the thing to drive, can I get the machine to drive a straight line yeah. uh, and, you know, gain trust there. And then we start to gain trust on uh, variable rates and, and other pieces on planting type equipment mm -hmm. and uh, yield monitors on, on harvest type equipment. So it, it's, it's a step-by-step -step approach. It's not mm -hmm. something that, you know, you're going to, fully dive into yeah. just in one season. It's right. something that takes, it just takes time. Yeah, I mean, no one really becomes a master in a few right. weeks. It Absolutely. definitely takes some time with the technology or sitting with an advisor just to learn more about it and going to a lot of training events. I know we offer some of those or if customers want training, we can go out and sit with them you know, happily and show them through. Uh, do you have any other experience with different types of precision ag or maybe things that people are using in our region as well? Yeah, there's kind of multiple pieces that are, are being used anywhere from, uh, we're now seeing sea and spray being utilized within our AOR. Mm -hmm. We're seeing even some autonomous tillage done within our AOR. And then just general uh, kind of offboard things within the operations center and being able to leverage that technology as mm -hmm. a tool to put data points together, yeah. make good agronomic decisions in the off season to know what I'm gonna do for next year. Mm -hmm. Those are, are big advancements that, that we're seeing across our customer base within our AOR. Well, and even, I mean, even with the ad adaptation of Precision Ag, it comes with a lot of benefits. I mean, it can, you know, increase yield, decrease mm -hmm. user fatigue. And I've we've been getting a lot of feedback as well that customers are doing things more efficiently in less time than before. Yes, yep. And that's really important for, you know, maximizing every acre. Land is becoming um, less and less. Uh, there's more and more people to feed. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, John Deere's uh, culture is to be able to feed the world. Um, and so, you know, we need to maximize every acre as much as possible and, and technology allows us to do that. And out of some of the technology that we offer with Deere, is there any that really stick, like that you just love or something that's super fascinating to you? Sure. Um, <laughs> I, I, it's hard to pick one out, yeah. I guess, because they're, you know, I guess I always uh, say, you know, there's a there's a fab in the market about self-driving cars. Well, mm -hmm. John Deere's been doing this for 14, 15, yeah. 20 years, you know. That's something that still excites me, just seeing a machine be able to work and, you know, seeing 
now we're to the point of true autonomy. And to me, that is just really cool. Yeah. My background's in software. And so um, seeing the offboard pieces and the data coming out of the, the machines and being able to put that data together to produce mm -hmm. those insights is also something that continues to excite me. You know, I think the challenging part where, where I want 21st century to really help our customers and our growers in the space of they have, they continue to get more and more data points mm -hmm. every single year, probably every single week. Um, so how do you put those together to produce an insight? That's, that's something that I want you know, our precision ag team at 21st century to be a part of. Well, and I guess piggybacking off of what you're saying, how ag has been doing or making a lot of technical advancements um, for, you know, the past 15 years. And I'm from a semi-urban area um, in the Midwest. And people that aren't involved in the ag world or community just have no one, like very limited understanding of everything that we can do. I mean, like you said, self-driving, most people just think of, you know, vehicles that are self-driving, but we are getting closer and closer for that being the new, mm -hmm. the new and improved or new technology in the ag world. And it's just very fascinating to see and learn about this every day, kind of spreading that out to the rest of the world. So people can understand that ag is more than just farming. It's very technical and data driven to improve our day-to-day -day food consumption and use and yeah. Everywhere I can reach. Yeah, no, that's a good point of uh, kind of comparing that to the urban versus rural yeah. areas. Um, certainly it's, it's, uh, it is when people think about John Deere, they don't always think about technology, mm -hmm. but, uh, but uh, that's a big initiative for John Deere as a company is to um, really focus on technology and make the equipment, not only just the equipment, but the technical side be just as important because it is that important. Um, yeah. and, and we at 21st Century want to definitely support our growers in that journey as well. Well, and you can, I mean, also take a lot of the data too into Excel sheets and put them into interactive maps and mm -hmm. use it more for just looking at data points. It can be something interactive that you can present to different audiences and spread the knowledge and the power of, um, and the ease of use for all precision ag technology. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I, I think there's a good opportunity within just 21st century now merged, uh, with four rivers, we have an even broader scope mm -hmm. of understanding what those data points look like. Is it just, is there a, a piece of data that, uh, comes together for just a large type customer or a medium or a small, or, mm -hmm. or does that, uh, insight look the same across all customer bases, yeah. you know, with, with our expanded region, we can, we have an even better opportunity mm -hmm. to serve our customers that way. Yeah. And definitely more, um, different customer experiences from a lot smaller ag to very large ag. We definitely have a lot of room to learn and mm -hmm. spread and just hear customer experiences, um, and how they're using precision ag to yeah. benefit their operation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm excited to see where, Precision Ag can go in in like the compact utility tractor yeah. area, um, some of the the smaller type equipment, um, even as small as lawnmowers, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I think it can be leveraged across the board, and and it's it's exciting times to be uh, mm -hmm. in agriculture as it has been for twenty plus years. There's a a big push towards it towards the technology now, and super excited to be a part of that. Yeah, no, I agree. It's definitely an exciting time just to see everything shift. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in to the Farmcast presented by 21st Century. Feel free to like, subscribe, and let us know how Precision Ag makes your farming operation easier.